Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this video, I would like to show beginners how to do a boosted Facebook post using the new Business Suite app on your mobile phone. So you'll first have to download the app I'm showing you at the bottom called Business Suite. And while you're at it, I would also download the Facebook Ads app, the one that's beside it, because both these apps will help simplify your life. And if you're not going really deep into creating different types of ads, especially conversion ads directly with within the Facebook platform, but you just want to boost a post, this video is perfect for you. And boosting a post is actually going to get you a lot more reach into targeted news feeds today and get your products and services in front of more people than just by simply posting on your page. So let's go ahead and open up our business suite app and here we are let's pretend this is your business page and if you scroll down you will see the post that you did nine hours ago i always recommend that you let your post sit on your Facebook page for a few hours before you turn it into an ad now this here is a post that has 10 photos so within each one of the photos you can add the text that you have on the initial text, which is right here. So there is a link to the website to see more information on this listing, also to drive the traffic up on your web website. And that also gives your website a heartbeat, which is what you continuously want to be doing. Now with the Facebook changes that came about in the last couple of months, so right now we are in the end of January, 2022. So this is new for 2022. And with the iOS update, what happened was people could choose not to see Facebook ads. And so that means that Facebook could not follow people once they left the platform of Facebook. But if you just want to drive traffic to your website so people can see the property that you have for sale, which is what your goal is, is to sell that property and to show your seller your marketing initiatives, then boosting a post is absolutely fine and it is what you want to and what you should be doing. So why I show you the link is because if people click the link, it will take them directly to the website where this listing is, where they can get more information. So that is called finishing your circles on running an ad on Facebook. Now at the bottom, we also have just a couple of hashtags and we have the phone number and the agent's name. However, I want you to remember with hashtags, if someone clicks on that hashtag, it actually leaves your Facebook page. So I like to keep the hashtags at the very, very bottom. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna scroll down underneath this post. So let's just go back to the post and we're gonna click on the word boost. Now it's going to open up options for us to set our goal. So do we want to get more engagement? And getting more engagement means that people can click on more of the pictures. Do we want to get a message with this? Or do we want Facebook to select the most relevant goal based on our settings? And Right now, Facebook actually knows what they're doing. So I tend to experiment and I'm gonna recommend that you too learn to experiment with the different types of ads you're running. And in the end, when you look at your analytics, ad over ad, you will be able to decide which type of ads work best for your Facebook business page or the leads to your website or the engagement factor. So choose your goal. It doesn't really matter until you've had enough time to monitor which ones work well for you. Now, I don't want to click on boost post now because I'm not ready. If you notice, I can sl keep sliding. See this? I've got my finger on my phone and I can keep scrolling. So we definitely don't want to just boost the post without reviewing every detail. So we're going to leave the button, which is optional, alone. 
As a real estate agent today, we must choose our special ad category. So the first thing we have to do is turn this on by clicking the little button. And now Facebook says, if you're a special ad category, which category do you fall under? And because we are real estate agents, we're gonna click this box where it says housing. Once it's clicked, you can click the X and you can leave there. Now it comes to our second component, and that is we need to choose our audience. And we want to have a really wide audience. So if you are in a big city where you have millions of people, as small as your audience should be is about 250,000 people and up to a million people because the more people that see your ad or have the opportunity to see your ad, the more chance you have of getting clicks. But what the most important component is, is Facebook's algorithms. Facebook is going to put this ad into the relevant news feeds that it chooses through its special little feelers that are out there looking at what people are doing on Facebook and Facebook knows where to put your ad. So open it up. Don't be afraid to even select nothing for your interests. So we're gonna go ahead here and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit location because I find that it always grabs the address for the office and that is not something that I have found works very well. So I'm gonna click edit. And the other thing is from here, I'm going to go into my locations. Okay, so what I've clicked on is region. And now I'm going to click locations to target with the little arrow. And from here, I'm going to click inside the box and I'm going to say Squamish because this property could be perfect for a family in Squamish. So Squamish and click on it. I'm going to click in the box again. I'm going to add Langley. And I'm going to also click Maple Ridge. So you have to think about what areas are in your neck of the woods where your buyers are coming from. And I'm also going to choose the area where this listing is as well. So Shemanus. There we go. And now I'm going to click Save at the bottom. So now I have a specific amount of regions in for this ad. Let's go into characteristics. And of course, those can also be interests. So let's click the arrow. And you can see all of the different interests that I already have. Facebook has saved them from last time. And I'm just going to look through them, make sure I like everything that's in here. We've got quite a few and I think that's perfect. If you're in a really small area, then by all means, don't have any interest and just leave it wide open and test it that way as well. Because Facebook will put this ad into the right news feeds because of the content, the relevant content and what that user's activities are. Let's click save. So now we have got our location, our characteristics. Now, because we are a special ad category, we cannot choose anything to do with the age or the gender of our audience. Next, what we want to do is we want to click on Save Audience. I just want to draw your attention to the estimated audience size, and it is between two and 2.5 million. That's a really good um, audience as defined. We've got the green bar there for that. Let's go ahead and click Save Audience. Now, just before we boost it, we need to have a look at how much money we are spending. So let's go down here. And let's look at the amount. It says we're going to start January 18th, which is today, 2022, and we're going to run it for 19 days for $25. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the dollar amount to $35, 
And I'm gonna shorten the days to two weeks because listings are selling extremely fast right now. And so we have a start time and an end date, which is exactly what we wanna see. You can also see on here, it says you will spend $2.50 per day. So that is a comfortable amount to spend. It also says run this ad on Instagram and we have that turned on. And so now we are good to go ahead and run this ad. I noticed that the special ad category had clicked off. Once again, why is that happening? Let's see, oh, we have to click done at the bottom. There we go. So now it is on. So I'm just going to review everything. We've got automatic placement for our ad. We see which ad we are running. I'm happy with that. And our special ad category stayed on because we clicked done. We had chose housing. Our audience selection are people that live in and around specific areas. And we have got a number of uh, targeting interests done. And we have the amount of money that we want to spend. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click Boost Post Now. And there we go. We're just going to give it a few seconds here to load. And there we go. It tells us our ad's running for 14 days, $35 who created the ad, which was me. And it's gonna end on February 1st. It's gonna be on Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger as the placement. And if I wanted to increase the budget, I could. Let's go ahead and click Save Changes. Not that we made any changes. <laughs> and we're good to go. And that is how easy it is to boost a post using the Business Suite app on your smartphone. Please remember to take your time going through this. It is a little bit scary your first few times, but you will get used to it. And once that ad is up and running, you can open up your Facebook ads. And from that account, you will be able to see there's our new post. It hasn't started running yet. It's in review. And you can go ahead and you can look at any of the posts that you have um, or any of your posts you've turned into a boosted post, an ad, and you can go in and look further and that will be in another video. This is Heather. Remember everyone, let's keep it simple.